I always enjoy my time with Hector Patino. He's a top leader in Houston. Last time I saw Hector, we were celebrating Dean and Victoria's wedding in Mexico. And what an awesome party that was that we had. And I just, I love Hector. I mean, he's got a heart for his people. He's all about his people leveling up like that's near and dear to his heart. And he's got a great student mentality. We were engaging in a dialogue and I, I thought this was really good. Jamie, it seems that there's multiple advices that I get. There's multiple ways of doing things. Who are the people I should be getting with to get advice? And so it had me thinking because that is a really good point. There isn't just one way that, you know, of, of succeeding in the business. Sometimes you can ask a question to five different people and you'll get five different answers and that can be confusing. The good news with that is, hey, listen, that's an indicator that there's always going to be innovation. We don't live in a world where, hey, we do things today because that's just the way we've always done it. No, we should question what is the best way of doing things. There are multiple ways of doing things. Well, now it's my responsibility to figure out who are the people I need to get with to learn this from. So again, I can, I can get that it can be a little confusing, but here's my best advice. And here's another NFL analogy. I know I've used the NFL a couple times in these videos, but if you think about an NFL team, how many coaches are on an NFL team? I mean, there's more than just the head coach, obviously, there's a whole coaching staff. And the average number of coaches in the NFL is 15 coaches per team. I mean, it's a pretty big staff. So if you wanna dissect it and look at the layers, well, it starts with the head coach. Everybody knows the head coach. Underneath the head coach, you've got an offensive coordinator and you've got a defensive coordinator. Underneath those two roles, well, now you've got the specific role coaches. On offense, you've got the quarterback coach, you've got the running back coach, offensive line, wide receivers. I mean, there is somebody nerdy and specific to that role that is a coach. On the D side, you've got your defensive line, you've got your linebackers. You could even break the linebackers into two different coaches, exterior and interior. You've got your D backs. So there's really three layers. Again, head coach, coordinator, and then specific role. So think about it, the, the, the real answer to the question of like, who should I get with? It's really a question back to you. Who have you identified are the most gifted in each particular layer? Do you have three layers of coaches in your world? Now, let's just work our way backwards, okay? So if you're the quarterback, okay? So you're a rep in the field, you're in the trenches, you're engaging in battle and war every day. I need a quarterback coach. Well, the qualifications for a quarterback coach, ideally it's simply your leader. It's gotta be somebody who's really good at sales and not just good at sales, but really good at sales training. You've gotta be a consistent producer and you've also gotta show that you can reproduce. If you're great at sales, but you can't teach it, I'm not sure that's the kind of selling that I wanna do. I wanna be in the replication business. I also want to make sure that this person is selling with a high amount of integrity and they know how to get good sticky customers. You'll find out as you transition to ownership that the sticky customers is what really matters. If all the customers that you're getting are churning over, that's not a good recipe for business. That's not adding enough value for the clients. It's a good sticky customer who falls in love with the client. So I want somebody who, again, is really gifted at sales, but again, there are some qualifications in the sales. Again, good quality, high integrity sales, and you can reproduce. So who is that person on your campaign that you can replicate? And the good news with all of our campaigns around the country, or should I say countries, Canada and the United States, I mean, there is somebody making $2,000 a week or more on every campaign. It's my responsibility to get that quarterback coach. I gotta find out who this person is. Ask your owner if you need to network, who's this person I can get with? I too would like to make 100 grand as a rep in the field. That is very possible and that is expected in today's day and age. So get that quarterback coach. Then I've got another layer. Now, before I get into really all the layers, at each layer, it's important to make sure that I am developing a relationship. If for nothing else, 
It just makes the business more fun when it's a personal business. There's a personal relationship, just like I have with Ector. I'm kind of at that tier three. I'll get to tier three after I do tier two. But at every level, there's got to be a tight bond, a tight relationship. And like I said, if for nothing else, it just makes the business more fun because it becomes a family business, if you will. But the next layer is going to be the owner, okay? The office manager, somebody who's been there, done that. They've graduated from the field to the point that they now run an office. I need that offensive coordinator along with my quarterback coach. These people are going to be gifted in the world of crucial conversations. They're going to be able to analyze my leadership. They're going to have effective one-on-ones with me. So I want that offensive coordinator again as that quarterback and that's going to be the icl owner all right and then the layer above that's going to be a head coach and i always say listen do you have a relationship with a promoting owner and or consultant now why would you need a promoting owner or consultant in your corner in the world of your layers of coaching and the answer is simply this a lot of people come into the business young like me i was young single not married i mean i didn't have I mean, life had not gotten real yet. I was just a young, young man in my mid-20s when I started. Well, life transitions are going to happen. When, when I think of life transitions, I think of things like, man, I'm going to get married. Think how exciting that is. Marriage is a life transition. Having children is a life transition. Dealing with tragedies personally is a life transition. And the promoting owners and the consultants are just a little more versed in those areas. So I want somebody I can go to when it comes to those life transitions, because you think about it, you don't want to get married and then all of a sudden you start tripping up. I want to get married and I want to level up. I want to get better. I want to make more money. I want to be more productive as a married man, not, oh, now I'm, I'm struggling balancing between my personal life and my and my business, how do you handle that? I need, a, I need that coach in that transition. Um, also, the promoting owner and the consultants are more than likely gifted when it comes to the vision. Where are we taking this thing? What are the campaigns going to look like? What does the future look like 10 years from now, five years from now? So again, I want that additional layer of coaching. So if I've got those three layers, I think I'm doing pretty good. I've got the, the quarterback coach. Think about it. Tom Brady never went to Bill Belichick, I don't think. You know, tell me, you know, put in the notes that, that I'm wrong on this. But I don't think he ever went to Bill Belichick on, hey, Bill, how do you throw the ball exactly? Where are your fingers in relation to the laces? You know, that's the quarterback coach, all right? So you got your quarterback coach. You're learning how to be the best producer and reproducer you can possibly be. Also interviewing is a part of that quarterback coach. I want somebody who's very gifted in interviewing. I've got my offensive coordinator. I've got the ICL owner and I've got the head coach. I've got somebody again, gifted in vision, somebody who's gifted in life transitions to really help me down this path, down this journey. I, I think the business is too difficult to do it alone. Do it with a team of people. Do it with an army that can guide you, consult you, help you through this journey. It'll make it more fun. It'll make it more productive. And you'll add some speed and velocity to the equation as well, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for the question, Hector. And I'll talk to you guys soon.